Hey y'all, thank you so much for watching today's video. I know it's been a long time since I've been on here and every time I make a video, I promise that I'm gonna be on here more often, but now that I am at over a thousand subscribers and awesome people who watch my channel, I am definitely gonna be back on here. I've got a lot of stuff in the works for y'all, so stay tuned. Let's dive into today's video. So. I have this Google tab pulled up on Chrome right now and I typed in clipping mask text. So if you have ever wanted to put a picture into these letters, kind of like this Life's a Beach photo, that's really cute, or fitness, lion, whatever, usually you have to use um, Adobe products. So like Illustrator and Design, Photoshop tutorial, you have to use like vector type programs, I think. However, there is a way to do this using Canva. So I am gonna show you guys exactly how to create, I guess what's known as a clipping mask, but using Canva instead of Photoshop or other programs. So if you like today's Canva tutorial, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel with a big red button below and leave any comments you have in the comment section for me because I will do my best to answer those questions for y'all. Also, in today's video, I am gonna be using Canva Pro. However, you do not need Canva Pro for this tutorial. Um, if you do wanna learn more about digital designs and take your design seriously, Canva Pro is definitely worth the investment. So if you want to try Canva Pro out for free for 30 days, I do have a free 30-day trial in my description box. So make sure to check that out while you are here on this video. As usual, I've already got Canva Pro, well, just Canva pulled up on another tab. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna kind of create something that looks like this lion or this puzzle. It's just gonna be on a white background. Um, so I'm gonna go back over here to Canva and I'm just gonna create a design. It really doesn't matter what size um, you make your design for this one because I mean, it's just gonna be some letters so you don't have to do anything special to it. So whatever. I'm just going to go to create a design and go to Instagram post right here and we will take it from here. So once your untitled design comes up, it's just going to be this plain white blank slate. We're not going to choose any templates, but we are going to go to the elements tab right here. And when you go to the elements tab, you will see a couple of options if you go all the way down. So you will see frames and you will see grids. So if you're not familiar with frames or grids, I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what this is. So I'm just gonna click a random one. I don't know this one, this one will be fine for now. So what this grid is, it's like a drag and drop thing. So if you go to photos and let's say you want to use this photo in your design. So you literally just left click it, drag it, and drop it. So you can drag and drop that one. You can drag and drop these little plants, whatever that is. And you can drag and drop these plants too. It looks kind of like the same thing. Um, so you can do it with any of these photos uh, or you can go to uploads and you can upload your own photo and you can drag and drop it here. So you can drag and drop the SUV. Here's my cat. You can drag and drop him into here and you can drag and drop my latest gym selfie or whatever this is. I don't even know. So that's the way that works. Um, so if you want to use grids, if you want to make like a collage of your own photos, you can always do that if you've never used that before. But for this video, we're not going to do it. So I'm just going to delete all this stuff and I'm going to go back to elements over here. I'm gonna exit out of grids and I'm gonna scroll all the way down again, but this time I will hit frames. So if you hit see all next to frames, um, this also gives you a couple of drag and drop options. But for this one, let's see if you scroll down, there's actually some really good um, frames in here. So if you wanted to do like something for Instagram or social media, you could do this and then you could drag and drop something into it um, here's like a laptop. That one's cool. So if we go back to uploads, we can drag and drop the 
SUV into here. So that's cool if you want to create like listing photos or whatever. Canva has a really good um, variety of like smart mockups, but I'll go into that in another video. So before I get sidetracked again, I will go into elements right here. Um, again, we hit frames down at the bottom and we're going to scroll down until we see some handy dandy letters. So I'm actually going to, let's do, let's do something cool. Okay, so let's do the word love. So you can just drag and drop this into your design or you can like left click on it, whatever. So I'm going to make L smaller and I'm going to put it right here. So that's L. And then I'm going to make all these the same size. So I'm just going to line the top of it up and then resize it until it matches the top and bottom. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And we'll go back up to E right here and do this one too. Okay. Oh, it's a little small. All right, there we go. So I'm gonna spread these out a little bit. So as you can see, these letters aren't evenly spaced out. Instead of just like eyeballing it and hoping that they're evenly spaced out, you can always use the tidy up function. So if you left click in this white area and drag your mouse or your cursor, you'll see this blue box pop up. Um, if you drag the blue box across all the elements that you want to properly align and you go up here to position, you hit tidy up and now they're all tidied up so you don't have to eyeball it. Cool little hack if you didn't know that. So now we are going to add some, we're going to add a photo to these. So I was actually playing around with this earlier. I'm going to go back to photos right here and I'm going to go to recently used. So with the recently used, um, I picked this picture of the city of Pittsburgh. It's actually funny that I picked this because believe it or not, Pittsburgh is the background on my laptop right here. If you're watching from Pittsburgh or Western PA, um, I love your city. I love your state. FYI, that's another story. But for this video, I'm going to be using this picture. I found it on Canva Pro. It's not the one I took as my laptop background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete it real quick. I'm just going to drag it and drop it on this L. So I'm going to drag it and drop it on the L. So now if we zoom in a little bit, you can see a little sliver of this picture in the letter L. So of course you can just continue to drag and drop it. So I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. If you just, oops, if you just continue to drag and drop it, I don't know what I just did, but okay. Okay. So now this picture has been dragged and dropped into all of these letters. However, if you look really closely, it's not like the picture has been, the letters have been cut out of like one solid picture because part of the bridge is here, part of the bridge is here, and part of the bridge is here. So it, it doesn't line up. So let me show you an easy way to line this up. Now this works best if you've got a picture like this where you can tell where it lines up. If you're just doing like a, like a marble background, that's a little more difficult. I really don't know a good way about it, but this picture makes it really easy. So I'm going to delete the picture from all these. Now to delete the picture only, you just need to click on the picture and hit the backspace button and it deletes it. So I'm going to leave the picture in this L right here and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to make sure I can see this entire white box and I'm going to double click on this picture and I'm going to 
line up the edges of the picture with the edges of this white box. So this looks like it's lined up on the left. So now I'm just gonna make this picture bigger and align it on the right. And now I'm going to align it pretty close to the center because I do want to be able to see these letters right here. Um, I wanna be able to see the bridge and like some of the buildings maybe in the letters and I wanna make sure that it's lined up. So this looks good. So I'm going to hit enter once I get it to where I want it to be. And now we've got L. So what we're gonna do now is go back to photos and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna drag and drop it into the O. And now to resize the photo within the letter, I'm gonna double click on it I'm going to make it fit within this white box the best I can. You kind of have to eyeball it. So now that I've gotten it the size that I need this picture to be, you can see this first letter kind of sort of through this big picture right here. So as you can see, this little island right here is right here in this photo. So I'm just going to line it up. So I'm going to line it up like that. That looks pretty aligned. And once I get the photo, this big photo right here aligned with the line in the L, I'm going to hit enter. And now it looks like these two letters have been cut out of the same photo. What we're going to do now is we're just going to go back to photos and we're going to do the same thing. So it is a little tedious, and if there is a better way, then please leave a comment below and let me know if there's a better way to do this in Canva. I'm sure doing this in Photoshop or Illustrator or whatever is a lot easier, but I don't feel like paying for Photoshop, and I really don't know anything about InDesign or the other programs. So you can let me know if it's easier to use those programs or not and if there's a better way to do it on Canva, because I would appreciate that. Anyways, so let's do this E right here. And I'm just gonna drag it and make this photo a little bigger. And I'm gonna line it up right here. And let's see. Boom. All right, so now we can zoom in and it looks like it has been cut out of one photo instead of having it look all jangled like it was earlier. So you can leave it like this because this looks like some of these, so like life's a beach, whatever. So we can keep it like that. Or what you can do is, this is actually pretty cool. You can go back over here to photos and select this photo and move it to the back. So now that we've moved it to the back, you can see like the letters on top, but we're gonna highlight this big picture and we're going to move the transparency down so it's not so bright. And we're just gonna make it line up with the sides just like we did in the letters. And we're gonna move it to where it lines up. You may have to use your up and down keys because if I just drag it, it's gonna align it to the center and it's not quite centered. So, yeah, I think this looks pretty good actually. Okay, so yeah, that's what that looks like. And then if you wanna change this background to something to like a color that's in this photo so we can change it to the color of the um, Duquesne Incline thing, 
We can do that. We can do just leave it at white. We could do like a blue. We go dark with it. That actually kind of looks cool now that I'm looking at it. Um, but yeah, you can just play around with it and kind of make it into your own thing. Or you can just delete this background picture altogether and leave it like that. And then change the background. And you don't have to use this picture of Pittsburgh, obviously. That's just what I was in the mood to do. And I think it turned out pretty good for something that only took a few minutes. So, in a nutshell, that is pretty quickly how to insert photo into text in Canva and briefly create a text clipping mask in Canva. Um, like I said, if you've got any ideas of how to do this, um, an easier way in Canva or like break down very quickly how to do it in like Photoshop or whatever. I would greatly appreciate that. Again, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, leave comments, check out all the links in my description box, and I will see you guys on the next video.